wants to start? Um, I'll start. <laughs> I'm, I'm Harry, I'm the singer and guitarist in Wire Lies, and uh, actually my bag is not here. I do, I do have a pile of CDs that I've just purchased though, and I will start with Mastodon, the new Mastodon record. Um, I've heard, I, I bought it simply because I've heard great things about it from, we've just, we've just been touring with a, with a band called Friendly Fires around the States, and um, uh, Rob, their session bass player and percussionist, um, his, I don't know, he was speaking about the record and said it's amazing, so, so I, I purchased it today. I'll go next, I guess. I'm going to do a lucky dip kind of situation here. Let's not start with that one. Uh, my choices are kind of based on recommendations from those two and other people that uh, I respect their music tastes. Um, this is uh, the most recent Bjork album. Uh, I have all of the other Bjork records, but uh, apart from this one, and I was just listening to uh, Vespertine, no, Post by The Pool, and remembering how much I love it, so I thought it was essential that I bought that. Right, I'm Jack from White Lies. This is my bag. Uh, I'm going to do a similar style to what Charles did with Lucky Dip, but in fact, I'm going to let Harry pick the records out. Oh, so, I, so I don't even know what's so coming. Catch you off guard. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> even though I did just buy them, so I know what they are. Ooh. So I started with the hardest one. Um, this is the Suicide record. I think it's self-titled. It is self-titled. Um, a band who uh, I've never really listened to, um, but I've been recommended by a load of people. It's got some, some cool controversial concert on the back as well, which sounds great. So there we go. Uh, the Pains of Being Pure at Heart album. This is mainly a Jack um, slash our manager recommendation. Uh, and we've heard a fair bit of it off Jack's laptop here and there. And it sounds really good. So very summery, good for being in LA, I think. So um, gonna go for that. This is a Sigur Ross album. Uh, as usual, I can't pronounce the title. But um, the reason I got this is purely because I really like the photo on the front and on the back. So usually that has some kind of sway. If I like the artwork, I'll buy it. And this one I did just get because I like the artwork. So that's the for that. My next record is uh, a Wilco record called uh, A Ghost Is Born. Um, I've never really listened to Wilco, um, never really given them the time, but our, our manager, um, bangs on about them a lot and, and you know they're one of his favourite bands of all time and, and certainly his favourite live band so um, I thought it's about time I, I gave it a listen um, since it comes very highly recommended. Oh you're keeping it hard, okay, this, is, uh, this is Crystal Stilts, I think this is a slightly less fuzzy kind of vibe um, and slightly more kind of songwriting based but uh, I'm looking forward to this because again it's completely new to me and something I want to check out. Next record is a Noi record, Noi 75, which is actually recommended by these two, who uh, already own quite a few Noi records. But um, this is, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Noi virgin. This is my first Noi record, and um, I'm very much looking forward to listening to that. I've been listening to a lot of craft work recently, so it's going kind to of a good branch off from, from the craft work records. The next record I bought is uh, Mikachu and Jewelry. Um, I saw her play in Holland, uh, where we were playing at some kind of uh, festival type thing. And it was quite awful, to be honest, but um, it was almost so bad that it's probably really good on record, I think. So um, I've gone for it out of trust. And last but not least, uh, Crystal Antlers. Uh, they're a pretty new band I've, I haven't really heard. Um, if I'm being honest, I haven't ever really heard their music. I chose this record because I really like the, the front cover. And again, it comes, it comes highly recommended. So that's what's in my Amiga bag today. Do you remember what you got last? Yeah, it's going to be M MH3, isn't it? Oh, well done, do it. Yeah. This is, uh, what, what album is this called? Before the Dawn Heals Us by M83. And the reason I got this is because um, we all really fallen in love with the most recent album and we have also just been privileged enough for um, for him to remix one of our album tracks and I think it's going to feature at some point on one of our on one of our next releases but the remix he did is incredible and it's he's made the song sound basically like an M83 track but um, this is kind of just to further my love for his records because it's uh, it's really good stuff so yeah I think that's everything what else is in my bag a t-shirt oh yeah this is an Amoeba Records t-shirt which I'm going to wear. 
And your wallet. And my wallet, which you probably don't want to see in there. The last two are recommendations from my dad, who, uh, who is um, pretty into his music. Um, I have absolutely no idea what this is and what it sounds like. This is Todd Rundgren. And uh, my dad told me to get Something Slash Anything by Todd Rundgren. This is actually the album title, Something Slash Anything. I thought he was just, you know, meaning anything. But um, it's probably singer-songwriter. It's probably pretty, a little bit country. I'm not sure. And then this is another one, Joni Mitchell and Hegira. Uh, that was another recommendation by my dad. And I don't think I have any Joni Mitchell. Um, and this has already got a couple of songs I recognise, so I have to give it a go. Um, and that is what is in my bag. Or seeing anything as much as I do you I take for granted that you're always there.